Kindergarten Writers, welcome back with me, Mrs. Schoonerman, and we're off on some more writing adventures together today. So today we're going to continue on with some informational writing, uh, where we are going to teach our reader different facts and add some labels, draw some diagrams about a different topic. Yesterday, remember, we did informational writing, but we taught our reader all about apples. So we drew a diagram of an apple, we labeled the different parts of an apple, and we taught our reader some facts about apples. Today we move on to a new topic, and this topic is a cute little creature that oftentimes you might see in a pond, or some live in the oceans and have flippers. But one thing that's in common about them is that they have a shell. Hmm, what might we be learning about today? Turtles! That's our learning topic that we are going to be talking about today. It's all about turtles. Hey, look at this guy. So there's sea turtles, painted turtles, uh, box turtles, snapping turtles, lots of different kinds of turtles. But we'll talk about the different parts. So we'll watch a video and we'll see the different parts of a turtle and learn some cool facts about turtles. And then we'll make an informational writing piece about turtles. Uh, let's read our learning target before we get started. Our learning target today is I can draw and label a picture of a turtle and write two facts about them. So we are going to draw a diagram of a turtle and then label that diagram and then write two facts about turtles. That's what we are going to do today. Now let's just remember real quick, what are some different things that are going to be on our informational writing piece? Our informational writing piece must have a title or what the writing piece is all about. That's what the title is. It tells the reader what is it, what's the writing piece all about. Our writing piece must have a diagram or a picture. Our writing piece must have labels. So we label the different parts of our diagram. And the last thing it needs is facts. We are going to add facts or captions. So some different things that we can prove about turtles. That's what a fact is, is something that you can prove. It's different than opinions. Remember our opinions is how we think or we feel about a certain topic. That's not what our writing's about today. We are only talking about the facts, not how we think or feel about turtles, but something that we can prove about turtles. All right, it's time. We are going to watch a quick video clip all about turtles. So I want you to pay close attention. Look at the different parts of turtles. And while we're watching the video, also listen for facts that they tell you about turtles. Here we go. Turtles. Turtles are some of the oldest reptiles. They've been on Earth even longer than snakes and alligators. In fact, turtles have been around since the dinosaurs around 200 million years ago. There are lots of different kinds of turtles. Some like salt water, others like fresh water. Some are teeny tiny and some weigh hundreds of pounds. Some are carnivores, meaning they eat meat, while others are herbivores, meaning they eat plants. And some eat both, which makes them omnivores. When you think about turtles, what do you think of? Probably their shell. A turtle's shell is part of its skeleton, just like our own bones. This means turtles can't come out of their shells, they're connected. Many turtles can pull their heads back into their shells though, and they often do so for protection from predators. Turtles lay eggs. Turtles are cold-blooded. That means they become hotter or colder depending on the temperature around them. Aren't turtles amazing? Wow, that was some neat facts about turtles that we just learned. Well, it is time now. I want you to make sure to go get a pencil, get a piece of paper, 
If you don't have that already, it's okay. Just pause the video. And as soon as you have a pencil and a piece of paper, come on back and we'll make our writing together. All right, now that you have your paper and pencil ready, if you want, you can go ahead, put your name and today's date on your paper. If you're watching this on Tuesday, June 2nd, you would write a six for the sixth month. June is the sixth month of the year. So you write a six slash two, make a candy cane, give it a shoe. That's the way to make a two slash 20 because it is the year 2020. So this date reads June 2nd, 2020. Okay, now it's time to give our writing piece a title. What are we gonna call our writing piece today? Hmm, well, today we're talking about turtles. So it, we wanna tell our reader that we're going to be teaching them something about turtles today. So let's go ahead and write the title. Our title will be Parts of a Turtle. All right, parts. Start with a capital P. P, P. A, R, P, R. That's where you hear the A, R, part. T, parts. Uh, so you add the S. Parts of. Make sure you leave a little finger space there and write the word of. Finger space. A, and then the last word is turtle, t -t 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 turtle, starts with a T, 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 and this one's a little tricky, T, there's a U, T, R, R, T, 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 L, and then add an E on the end, and this is how to spell turtle. T U R T L E, turtle. Parts of a turtle. Now the next thing on our informational writing piece, we need to draw our diagram, our picture. So we're drawing a picture of a turtle and the different parts that it has. So let's see, when I know that turtles, they have a head. Uh, in the video, I could see that the turtle had a shell. And that's kind of like an oval shaped. A lot of the turtle shells are like an oval shaped. Then in the video, I saw that they had legs and they didn't just have two, they had two in the front and then two in the back, two back legs. So they have two front legs and two back legs. So all together, how many legs do turtles have? One, two, three, four. And you might not have seen this in the video, but turtles have a little tail. So I'm gonna add a tail. And I know, they didn't tell us that, all of the parts. I've got a couple more parts I want to tell you. Turtles have eyes and they have two of them. And on their mouth, it almost, it looks a little bit like a beak. It kind of looks like a little beak. So I'm gonna put a little, little tiny beak on there. Something else that I learned about turtles is that they, on their shell, you know how it kind of looks like little spots almost? There's different hard bony plates on their shell. All these different parts. This is a fact I'm going to tell you right now that I learned when I was researching turtles. They didn't say it in the video, but all of these little parts on their shell, that hard bony plate, it's called a scute. Scute. And so that's actually going to be the first label that we add. So here's our diagram. We've got our turtle head, eyes, it's got a little mouth and a little beak in the front. We've got one, two, three, four legs. We've got a tail and we've got their shell. Oh, 
And I really wanted my turtle to have a little neck because turtles do have necks. So I'm just going to erase a little bit and give them a little neck there. There, okay. Turtle neck. <laughs> okay. So now it's time. So we added the diagram. We drew our picture. Now it's time for labels. All right. The first label. We're going to add a label for that hard, bony part on their shell. All of these individual things are called scutes. So I'm going to point right to the center one, and we're going to write that together. Scute. Starts with an S. C. And here's where it gets tricky. Skew, you, 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 you. I hear that you. Skew. And hey, that you says its name. That vowel sound, it says its name, so that means there's a silent E at the end. Skewt. All right. Um, on their back, the whole thing is called a shell. So add another line, and let's write the word shell. Sh. S-H digraph. E sh L L and there's actually two L's in a row. Shell. What about tail? Let's add a label for its cute little turtle tail. T L tail. T A A. A little tricky, you can't hear this. There's an I. Tail. What do you hear at the end? L. Yep. Tail. Ah, uh, and then it's got legs. Yeah, we've got some legs on here. So ooh. L. Ooh. A E leg G S yes. legs. All right, at home, you could go ahead after the video is over. Your challenge is add the parts of the head. So go ahead and add a label for the neck, add a label for its head, add a label for the eyes. Add a label for the mouth if you're feeling up for it. Add some more labels to what's on the turtle head. That's your extra challenge. Because now it's time to move on to the last part of our writing piece. We are going to write a fact about turtles together. Now, in the video, she told us many different facts about turtles, such as the turtles are actually so old that they were around when the dinosaurs were around. That's a really, really, really long time ago. So turtles are super old. They've been on our planet for way longer than us. Then, hmm, let's see, they also said that turtles, turtles lay eggs. That's, and then little baby turtles hatch from the eggs. Some turtles live in the water. Turtles live in sea water, or salt water. And some turtles live in fresh water, which means it's not salty water. So that's, water like in a pond. So the turtles that you live in a pond, they live in fresh water. Where turtles that live in the ocean, they live in salt water. Uh, they also talked about what turtles eat. Some turtles eat meat, which means they're a carnivore. Some turtles just eat plants, which means they're an herbivore. But some turtles eat both plants and meat, and so they're called an omnivore. Um, hmm. Turtles are cold-blooded. We heard that in the video. Some turtles are really tiny, where others are really huge. Like, I'm talking huge turtles, where we couldn't even pick it up if we tried because it's so heavy. Mm -hmm. But the, tur the turtle fact that I want to write together is one that I think is super neat. Did you know? Turtles. They can pull their head into their shell, but they can't take their shell off. Their shell is part of their skeleton. It's part of them. 
It's their, it's part of their skeleton. They can't take their shell off ever. They're always in their shell. So that's what I want to write. Turtles cannot take off their shell. That's our fact. So we are going to start at the uh, left side of our paper and we are going to start with a capital letter. So every time we start a sentence, we start it with a capital letter and the rest of the letters will be lowercase in the, in the word. So the first word is turtles. We have it spelled right up here, but this, we need a capital T. T turtles, T, U, T, R, R, T, T, L, E, S, turtles, T, U, R, T, L, E, S, turtles. Leave a finger space, we're starting a new word. Can, great word to stretch and tap out. Can, K -n. can, okay. And can leave a finger space. Can not not. Mm. So that starts with an N. Ah. O. T. T. Turtles can not leave a finger space. Turtles cannot take. Take. Hey, this is going to be a word that has a silent E in it. T, 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 A, A says its name. K, K, and if A says its name, there's a silent E at the end. Turtles cannot take, leave a finger space. Next word is off. The way to spell off is O F F off. Turtles cannot take off their. Oh, we gotta take this down. I'm gonna run out of room. Uh oh, there we go. Off there. This is a brand new sight word. There. It starts with a T H digraph. T H E I R. That's how to spell the word there. There, that's a brand new sight word. And the last word is shells. Sh starts with that S H digraph. Sh e. Oh, there's two L's and add an S at the end. Shells. Shells. And then, as good writers, we need to end our sentence with punctuation. Add a period at the end of your sentence. Okay, it's your turn. We just wrote one fact, but we need another fact. You gotta write one more fact that you learned about turtles, or maybe it's something that you've already known about turtles. So you're just gonna share the fact that you know. So let's review one last time what our learning target is, and then I will send you on your way. So what, today our learning target, I can draw and label a picture of a turtle and then write two facts about them. We are already added some of our labels, but remember we're gonna add a couple more. Try to add three more labels by yourself. And I definitely want you to write at least one more fact about turtles. If you have more than one fact that you wanna write, you go for it. You write as many as you want. And then when you are all done, Make sure you have an adult take a picture of your writing and send it on in to your teacher. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Can't wait to see your writing. And I hope you enjoyed learning about turtles with me today and the different parts of a turtle and some cool facts that you may not have known before. All right, I'll see you again tomorrow for a brand new topic. Have a great day. Bye.